Hello everybody and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Cooking with Cannabis series. My name is Chef Cody Lindsay from TheWellnessSoldier.com and today we have a real treat for you. We have Riyad Bain from Spartan Wellness. Thank you for joining us, Riyad. Thank you, Cody. Thank you very much. Uh, before we get started on today's four different ways to decarboxylate, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, Spartan Wellness and what it does to help uh, Canadian veterans? Sure. You know, Cody, listen, first of all, it's an honor to be on your, on your show. Uh, Decarbon, uh, it's my thing. I love doing it. Uh, Spartan Wellness, it's a great organization. We're a virtual clinic right across Canada. We help veterans, first responders, and all Canadians uh, learn and get medical cannabis prescriptions, as well as we offer veterans and RCMP transitional medicine while they're leaving the forces and, and, and going on to their, uh, their second career, whether that's being retired or not, and don't have an active GP, general practitioner, to help them through that transition. Uh, we also offer lots of education, lots of support for veterans uh, through Veteran Affairs, and, and we do a lot of uh, stuff with you, and, and we teach cooking, and, and, and we make sure that uh, all Canadians have the best place to go to, to, to learn more about medical cannabis. Yeah, that's amazing. I absolutely love Spartan Wellness. Thank you very much for being on the show today, and thank you very much for, you know, not only the services to help Canadian veterans, but your services have helped me as well. Uh, I've been involved in an annual veterans dinner. We do expos together. We do uh, cross-country tours together. Uh, super fun. So what are we doing here today? We're doing decarbing, Cody. Oh, not just decarb. We're doing four different ways to decarb. We're going to show you the mason jar method. We're going to show you the decarb box method. We're going to show you the sous vide method. I'm excited about that one. And old tried and true, the pan method for decarboxylation, yeah? Yeah, like decarboxylation is such simple science, right? It's heat and time, right? And so basically all you're doing is you're, you're, you're providing a heat source to, that, to the medical cannabis so that it goes through the process. And the longer you do it uh, with the heat in a good balance, you'll maximize that conversion from THCA, CBDA, to, uh, to, to make it active, to, to actual THC and CBD. Nice. So I guess the process obviously would involve heat. And uh, my general understanding is uh, there's, uh, there's the oven. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there's the new way of uh, kind of sous vide cooking. Sure. Well, I'm, I haven't heard, I haven't seen it, and I'm excited to try the sous vide cook in there. That looks pretty cool. Nice. I was quite excited too. It makes it, it makes uh, cannabis cooking uh, super simple. You know, uh, your mason jar consumption kind of goes up a little bit, but yeah. uh, it's it's totally fun. So we're gonna start here. We got the magical butter decarb box, and what this is is literally just a silicone box and it protects your cannabis while it's in the oven. So it's not such a hardcore heat hitting the cannabis. So all you would do is take your cannabis. A bud like that uh, would require more time in the oven to fully decarboxylate to the very middle. It's a tight bud. So it's best to just break up your buds into nice popcorn sized pieces. And yeah, throw the stems in there, throw everything in there. They got some trichomes in there. And then the old standard, put the lid on and then we got the amazing thermometer in which you just stick in the box, stick the box in the oven, and then this is going to tell you the internal temperature of the box so you know that the, that the decarb is happening the way it should be. And you know, this is a great thing too, Cody, because every oven, whether you use a natural gas oven or electric oven, it's always gonna have different temperatures, right? So to maximize the effectiveness of your decarb, Having that temperature gauge there, it lets you know exactly the temperature you're working at so you can really utilize the amount of time you're doing. So right, I guess so, yeah, of course. Nice. Uh, yeah, because it'll tell you the internal temperature of the box rather than the internal temperature of the oven where there might be a few degrees variance exactly. uh, from what you set it as to what it is in the actual oven. And then, uh, Riyad, I actually learned this way from you. Uh, can yeah. you, what, can yeah. you explain a little bit about the, the mason jar method of decarb? Well, my biggest issue was obviously having children and, 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 and my wife, they didn't like the smell of the cannabis going through the cookie tray, which we'll be showing later on. So this turned out to be a very effective way and it was just more of trial and error and reading about it. So it wasn't really my invention, but I learned more about it and I perfected it. So basically what you're doing is you're actually gonna put the cannabis in there and you never fill it more than three quarters, right? So, because once the heat starts going, right, because you want room in there for the heat it's to gonna build some pressure, and the terpenes are going to get released, and and all that stuff, and you seal it pretty tight. And what's really good about this is that you can just put it in the oven at a very low temperature. I don't recommend going to more than two hundred degrees, because uh, you don't want any kind of. Uh, breakage or, or seal damage and you just place it in there you can either place it on side or you can place it on this 
and uh, it requires a lot longer time, right? So I usually, if I'm using THC uh, or if I'm decar decar decarboxylating THC, I'll, I'll usually put it in for about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes to try to maximize, you know, converting all that THC A to THC. CBD, I'll go a little longer because the resin, it's a little harder to get into. So I, I give it an extra 15 minutes. But the beauty of it, like I said, is there's really no scent, not much. And when it does come out, when you're done, you'll have your pressure, you leave it sealed, and then you'll feel, you'll hear that pop at the end, just like pickles or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that lets you know the pressure's dropped. So when you open it up, you're not having that massive gas release of all the terpenes and so forth. Of course. Very effective. A lot of people do it. Um, it's really common in the veteran community. Yeah. And like I said, uh, maximum 200 degrees Celsius uh, is where I like to stay. And, I, and I, I do it for anywhere from 60 to 90 minutes, depending on the strain and depending on the... Um, so, it goes, so it goes back to time and temperature where yeah. 245 at 45 minutes versus 200 for like an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. It's just a little bit slower getting there, but it is going to get there. Exactly. Yeah. And then we got the old tried and true. We got the pan method. Yes. So why don't you explain a little bit about the pan method? You're going to take your, your medical cannabis. So here we've got about 10 grams, I think, is, is what we have. So, Somewhere around there, right? yeah. So you spread it around. You can break it up. I recommend if you're not used to cannabis, the THC or the resins, you wear safety gloves. You wear like surgical gloves or something so you don't have any kind of resin or topical uh, uh, infusion through your fingers. Right. Um, myself, I'm a little more seasoned. Uh, but you know, you just break it up a little bit. You don't have to get too crazy. You got to get some aluminum foil and I highly recommend using aluminum foil because the smell, if you were just to do this, it would really take over your whole household. That's right. where, that's where a lot of the stigma comes around cannabis cooking yeah. is around the decarboxylation and the smell that gets out into the neighborhood, I guess you could exactly, say. Right, right, right. So right. This doesn't do the, you know, obviously, uh, you take, you take the, uh, the, the aluminum foil and what you'll do is you'll just put it over top the pan. Okay, so I'd probably use a little bit more. Um, and then I would just take another piece. And then once it's sealed, it'll maintain the heat inside. But you're going to have a lot of relief. So with the terpenes, like you've talked before, you know, that creates the smell and the scent. And that's common for every plant. And so you're going to have some terpene scent release and you'll smell it. But once it's covered, you just put it in the oven. Uh, try to tent it up a little bit, give it a little bit of, uh, you know, rise for the pressure to be built. But uh, the most common is 245 degrees, 30, 45 minutes maximum. Uh, and you usually get, you know, the graphs show that you can get around 60 to 75% successful decarboxylation on your plant that, that's in there. Nice, nice. So yeah, so there's the industry standard of 240 for, you know, 30 to 40 minutes. And then there's other times and temps that you can get to, you know, once you start getting into it, you know, you start decarbon, then it's like, okay, well, I'm going to try this. Okay, yeah. well, maybe I'll try this. Okay, well, what about this? Which led me to this super fun way, which is uh, sous vide decarboxylation. This is a super simple, fun way. Again, it's a nice way to uh, keep the smells in as well. You're vacuum sealing it in there. The decarb uh, smells or the terpenes aren't going to smell up the whole neighborhood. So we're going to take our cannabis. We're going to add it into our bag. Again, just kind of make sure that it's kind of flat so the water can hit all the places that you want. And then seal it up. Vacuum seals it right in there, gets that air out of there. So there we go. We got it in our vacuum seal. You can see that the surface area will hit the water. Yeah. And a sous vide doesn't go above 212, which is boiling temp. So a good way to uh, decarboxylate in the sous vide is 195 for about an hour to an hour and a half. So Cody, listen, I'm really excited. I've never seen one of these machines before. Can you explain what it does? For sure. This is the super cool piece of equipment that we have in the kitchen. And what it does is it keeps the water at a certain temperature. So whatever you put in the water will not go above that temperature. Oh, wow. So this is great for decarboxylation because we have our cannabis here, it's vacuum sealed. Like I said, the surface area of the water is going to hit the cannabis and decarboxylate it. So all we're simply gonna do is put the bag into the water. And then you gotta push it down a little bit. So that water's, that water's pretty hot right now. That water is sitting at 200 degrees. Okay. And what we're gonna do is keep it in there for approximately kind of the same thing, for about an hour, maybe an hour and 10 minutes to fully decarboxylate. So we've had the 
cannabis in the sous vide for approximately an hour and you can see how the color has changed. The terpenes have been uh, kept in the sealed bag so they can't escape anywhere. So it really brings out that nice, beautiful flavor that you're looking for. You're looking for the, 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 the mar medical marijuana to be a little browner. It's gonna have a bit of a smell to it. This, you know, a smell, not burnt smell, but a, like a cook smell sort of smell. Yeah. And it, like I said, it's gonna be a little browner. It's gonna be a little drier to the touch. Okay, but you want to make sure it doesn't become too brittle, and that means you're overcooking it, right? Okay, right, so you right. You want to make sure you stay within those ranges. And like I said, the lower the temperature, the more time you can do, and the safer it is to decarb. When you try to go too high temperature too quick, there's the chance that you're going to burn your medical cannabis or overdo it. Which is where, you know, which is where some people are afraid of decarboxylation because, you know, you're putting your cannabis, which costs a lot of money, yeah. into a rate, not raging hot, but hot oven that has the potential to cook it yeah. and possibly cook it too much. Once you get up towards the temperature of 314 degrees Fahrenheit, you are starting to burn or convert the THC. So it can be converted to maybe another cabinoid or it's going to lose its psychoactive ability. Right. And terpenes tend to burn off around 360 right so you want to always make sure like i said the lower the temperature and use time uh, more so than than higher temperatures and you'll have a very successful uh experience de decarboxylating your marijuana so uh super fun super simple ways to decarboxylate we show you four different ways in order to do that we got the magical butter decarb box we got the mason jar method we got the pan method and we got the new introduced sous vide method Super fun, super simple. Riyadh, I'd like to say thank you very much for coming today. And before we head out, is there anything that you'd like to say? Well, listen, Cody, I want to say thank you for everything you do for the veteran RCMP and, and all Canadians and first responders in teaching people how to use medical cannabis properly and infuse it in their foods. You know, uh, we're here to help Spartan Wellness. Please visit us at www.spartanwellness.ca. Uh, check out our website, fill out the interest form. Somebody from our caregiver team will definitely get in contact with you in a short time. Uh, I just want to remind everybody though, with medical cannabis, there is the effects and you always want to start as low and slow as possible. Remember when you're dealing with edibles and, and so forth, let the, give yourself the time for it to, uh, to take in and, and don't overdo it. Uh, make sure your experience while you're medicating is fun and enjoyable. And uh, I want to thank you again for everything you're doing. Uh, Wellness Soldier is a place to go. No problem. Thank you, Riyadh. Again, thank you for uh, you know, helping me on my medical cannabis journey uh, through Spark Wellness. If you want to learn more about cooking with cannabis, please visit the wellnesssoldiercom Cooking with Cannabis 101 series. Uh, my name is Chef Cody Lindsay. Thank you very much for joining us. Riyadh.